Hello everyone, welcome to another walk around and little cruise video. This time we're doing our 1969 Chevy Chevelle Malibu. This is a good car that I've been fortunate enough. This is the second time that we are selling it here at our dealership. I actually purchased it for the dealership um, three years ago back in 2019 from a older gentleman that had owned this car for over 25 years. It is a numbers matching engine and transmission car. Uh, it is the correct colors. I think it's like Le Mans blue. It's, I might not have the exact name correct for 1969, but the car does decode as what you see it here, pretty much. Um, the only thing that I know on the running gear the rear end's been changed out for a 12 bolt um, with 410 or 411 posi from what I remember. But the overall body on this car is really nice. The paint is really good. It is older paint. The gentleman that owned it for 25 years, I believe, had it repainted. It's had one repaint in its life, is what I was told. Um, I don't know if this is the original vinyl top or if it was a replacement, but it is in really nice shape all the way around. The stainless and the trim are in nice shape all the way around. Um, some evidence of the repaint, if you look really closely, they kind of, they didn't take these window felts out and you can see where they masked on them. But I only really see it on the window felts. I haven't really noticed it anywhere else. The back window is really good. I really like this color. This car is sitting on a set of staggered SS wheels. We do have 15s in the rear and running 14s up front. But like I say, the paint body is really nice and straight on it. Uh, the door gaps and everything seem pretty good all the way around. I don't know. I only see one paint code. And then the color for the black vinyl top on the trim tag. I don't think the silver was accurate. I think somebody did that, but I don't mind the look. I think it, it makes it look actually pretty good. Um, going around the front. I haven't gone to the front really yet. The grill and the headlight buckets and all that are nice. Oh, we gotta speed these videos up. The bumpers and stuff, they're all older. I don't believe they're original. They might have been re-chromed, but nothing is really fresh on the car. So, I will say this also. Here is under the hood and the engine compartment. It is the numbers matching, 350, 300 horse. It is the numbers matching, four speed Muncie. I believe it's an M20 transmission um, on the car. Has some older style electronic ignition, old Mallory um, distributor on it. The car drives out nice. Here's something down the road. Inner fenders, power steering, power disc brakes um, on the car. I'll start it up in a minute. I'll do a little interior. So interior door panels could be original. They're in very nice shape, but they are older. Um, wind lace has a little tear here. The back seat is nice. You can hear the key buzzer actually is still working on the car. Take the key out. The reverse lockout is still hooked up for the factory four-speed transmission. Um, back seats, still the original GM seat belts. Rear package tray is nice. Somebody added speakers to it. Headliner is nice. The seats are older. Let me open them back up. You can see the material is an older material, but in nice shape all the way around. These front seat belts, I don't. I think these are original, but it has the shoulder harnesses 
I think that's an original one. They have the right tag though. Um, I'm not an expert on that. It is missing one receiver. Uh, don't know where it is. Um, Cause you only got three and you got two shoulder harnesses and two lap belts. So it is missing that. Um, tack is hooked up and so it swivels with the reverse lockout. I'll get in and sit down so you can see that. So you step on the clutch and you pull it, turn the key on, pull it out of gear, see? The tack's hooked up to reverse lockout. You get its like work aftermarket gauges. Showing 113,000 miles on the car. It is the original dash from what I can tell, which is all pretty good shape, other than right there. You look at the pictures on my website just let it idle for a minute i think at some point a rear quarter has been on put on this panel there's a line on the inside of the trunk so they put a half quarter or something like that on it let you listen to the motor power it's still pretty much stock configuration it's got a nice set of exhaust pipes on it so it sounds pretty good and you can see the 12 bolt under there um, and sway bar and everything so similar to f41 suspension but so but just a really nice car I actually like driving it. I like driving a four speed. My personal car is a Chevelle automatic. I like the four speed better, but when I built mine, I put an automatic in it. The hood closes nice and easy. Everything's all pretty cool. So what I'll do is uh, roll up some windows, mount the camera, and we'll go for a cruise. Like I say, it is a really pretty car out in the sun especially. It gets a lot of att attention when it drives around on the road. So I'll mount the camera and I'll be back with you in a few. Welcome back everyone. Our cruise around the block.
really chasing the steering wheel around. Uh, you can even let go of the steering wheel. It drives pretty good. These are crappy roads. I mentioned that in every video. The city of Tacoma doesn't really want to spend any money on the roads. So. Site, if it's still available when you watch this video, um, you can Google search Premium Motors Tacoma, Washington, click on the inventory. The underside is nice and solid. This car was never frame off. It's a little dirty and stuff under there, but it's a nice solid car underneath. Uh, might even got a little bit of that from the when I bent down and looked better at the rear end. Like I say, the only little thing is that rear quarter has had a half. Um, looks like a half skin put on it at some point. I don't know when. Um, I don't see any issues with the paint back there. The fitment's pretty good back there. Everything on this car is 
pretty good all the way around. Even though it's an older built car and refreshing years ago, it's still uh, it's a pretty nice car to have. And we're not asking. We're asking uh, thirty eight thousand dollars for this, which is under forty grand. And for a factory numbers matching four speed Chevelle, I think that's a fairly fair price. So thanks for watching and have a good day.